Okay. Um oh, good timing. Game is beginning. Um what round is this? This is round ten. So the penultimate round. London time. I'm playing a main line. Yeah, this is a main main line. Bishop b5. I have a feeling black doesn't know the theory here. A lot of people play a6 who don't know what they're doing, and then they walk into a trap. Um, it's playable, though. Okay, this is basically the, the main idea. This queen a3 move. The gamer bits, yeah, as opposed to the gambits. So, wow, there's there's some nice possibilities here. I'm thinking I can maybe even win two pawns. I'll start by taking, and then knight g5. I mean, all the pawns are hanging. So, so many things attacked. It's a nice London line. I mean, this is one of the points of bishop e5 is um, to really damage the queen side. So there's a line f5. And then I take with rook or knight. Maybe take with knight, attack the rook. And then later take the pawn. Okay, now my knight's attacked. Oh, this is maybe trickier than... Actually, maybe I can take the pawn first. Defending the knight through x-ray vision. This is a funny move. It doesn't work, though. Maybe I should have taken the... h7 pawn first. Man, I want to do like weird things, but for example, rook h5 is kind of intriguing. <laughs> I shouldn't spend so much time looking at it, but it's so intriguing. Now, rook h5, queen takes queen. What am I thinking? If I take the queen first, it's really a debate between taking or knight h3. Yeah, probably, not sure, probably taking the queen, and now knight h3, and okay, I'm up a pawn, b4 looks nice, well, preventing c5, I'm really trying to fix both pawns. Yeah, the bishop's going to find some life on this diagonal. I'm realizing my knight should be on b2 to prepare. How do I get to b2 via d1? But then maybe via f2. Let's start with g4 and f3, and then maybe my knight can maneuver. And g4 also just preparing g5. Yeah, this should be pretty straightforward, but you never know. Okay, let's start with g5. This will be a nice transformation. The rook h2 preparing the double up. If king g8, I still play rook h1, because takes I made on h8. And maybe I can even throw in g4 to then take and later play g5. That's really not pleasant for black. Hmm. 
Interesting. So maybe now I can take. Because the pawn is eventually going to have to take. King takes, I had rook h1. Now this pawn is forever a weakness. The question is how to how to progress. Rook h5 maybe can like zigzag my way to victory. I just want to infiltrate. Some g4 move. g4 is kind of interesting. Maybe I'll start. I'm going to start with king here. King's more useful closer to the the king side pawns. And then here, preparing this move. Is F6 coming? F6, I can play knight f4, rook h5. But it's risky. I should not have allowed this. I want to play this in mate. Wow. I'm winning. Black can't stop rook b6. Wow. I won that. What a crazy game. Man. I somehow won that. I I I had just a nice advantage. I let it slip. I was probably losing at some point. Oh, sorry, I forgot to turn on the board sounds. Uh okay, sounds are back. Wow, what a game. Oh. What a game, man. I really let things slip. F3 was not a good move. I should have been a bit more patient. Win bits. Oh, thanks, Tagi, for the win bits. At some point, Tagi cheered the next game win bits. I think this was, this was one of the next games. I was, um, how many moves was that? Oh, it was 16 hind moves. Yeah, it's a move list. Oh, and thank you, do believe zigzag. Oh yeah, I zigzagged my way to victory. Towards the end there with the king. It was such an awkward position because uh, the king, rook, and knight, they were all kind of scattered. 
And I have to be careful not to get forked or skewered. This is tricky. If I take the pawn, there's um, queen h4. So I had to kind of walk around this way. And then I wasn't sure what I was going to do if black just pushes. Because my king can't cross, maybe here and here. But black's probably winning here. Queen b5 mate. Wait, what? That oh, queen g5 mate. Oh. Position I've seen in a while. My opponent missed maiden one. <laughs> Queen g5. But yeah, this final position is really nice because the queen can't check my king effectively and this can't be stopped. Like, the queen's so out of it. What a game. Oh, opponent says good game. Oh, good game to my opponent.